The next progression is we're gonna build in the, the escape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the, the blast shield with one of the handles against my body and I'm going to get my hand fit on you. We're gonna go back to that fit to uncoil drill, right? So you start fit up on here, okay? I've got my hand on you here, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down, you're going to uncoil, okay? And then you're going to escape. Here, let's flip this around. Yeah, we're gonna use the crossbar. You, you've got your hand under here, like where I'm blocking, right? So I'm here, I can keep this hand on, and remember, with the crossbar, I'm coming across the arm, but I want that fingertip to go really towards the back of the shoe. So when I escape and come off, I'm dropping the shoulder, right? And when I get to as far as I can extend with my arm, I'm kind of wheeling it in and escaping through. Okay. Go. Good. Go. Good. When you see guys taking big long steps we call them greedy steps typically their hips are behind those are guys that you can get off balance a lot yeah. the guys who tend to keep a wider base keep their hips under them it's going to be harder to push and pull because their center of gravity is so yeah. so stable the the crossbar allows you to disconnect uh -huh. by dropping that shoulder we worked on yesterday good 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 really reach for the back of the shoe because coming across you might bend this but if you just break my arm or like separate my arm by breaking that elbow joint yeah. i can refit my hand yeah. if you get this shoulder plane to change you're i'm toast so think don't think of it like here right you're using the back side of your arm as i come down across i'm because the more I get my elbow down, yeah. the further I drag this shoulder down with me and it makes it easier to escape. Yeah. Go. Good. You, cause sometimes it's hard to do a push pull because the, on the edge, because it's just, you just get yourself out of the place. Yes. Big gap. You make yourself go wider than you need to. For this, you could use it inside or outside. Correct. And it's going to be tight. Yes. It's yeah. Nice. Because again, once you drop that shoulder of the lineman, if you do it, say in a pass protection uh -huh. standpoint, where my shoulder gets pinned, you're locking my hip. The only option I have to recover is opening this hip, which makes it better for you, worse for me. Yeah. Go. Good. Go. Good. You know, I'm trying to come across this way. The moment I start to wheel my, my arm around, that's like I'm bringing this leg through, yeah. right? So these are connected. I'm trying to get as close and tight to your hip, my hip, so I can take the shortest path possible around that guy. Go. Yes. I'm extending my arm as I'm trying to block you, right? And so you're getting to the extension. You've got a little bit of a connection. Now you have a position to use that crossbar and escape through. Good. Good, good. Good job getting your elbow to my elbow and, and, and kind of windmilling me through. Good. Good. Go. Good. Go. Good, good, go. Better, go. Good. 